was it? Accident! His head just came off! I had nothing to do with it! the road! There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite mark. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. 
but an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Get him as clean as you get. Very nice. I don't stray too far. Stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else. Out here? Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him? Pull him. Down! Body shots ain't the cleanest, but a kill's a kill. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Give another honk on that diaphragm. Now lay him in the shade. A 
Uh, try that elk collar one more time. You leave that doe alone now, Trevor. I said no females! Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Not the flatheads! Now lay him in the shade. Not the slick head! Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. I'd park yourself there if I was you. No females, Trevor, don't do it! Now lay him in the shade. this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill. We'll talk then.
Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild rage. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. are gonna see this you're always at that fucking golf course that's it walk away like you always do hey you listen can you give me a ride my wife's gone crazy i'll throw some dollars your way all right man i gotta find some wheels first dog okay i'll wait here and take a good long look at my life strewn all over the front yard
sorry about that. Hey, my whip! Well, that's that thing. Sixty-nine! Seventy! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. Hi. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady! I'm not even feeling it! Man, I really ain't dressed for this shit. That's cold. Don't be a baby. Mommy's not here. I'm your mama now. What are you doing, Marianne? Focus. Focus! T1, baby. Here we go.
Nah, I am a hundred percent not with you. This is a disaster. We should have had an energy bar. Have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? It is always about winning! I'm out of ammo! Don't stop. Keep digging. What is uh, yeah, uh, Who's in the race now, bitch? Oh, no. I can't get free. I didn't even know where the hell we are. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Shit, I ain't gonna just leave you out. Ah, you get it done, don't you? Yeah, sure. Or shit, I ain't gonna just leave you out here. Jesus, this is so messed up. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Yeah, I don't think they was digging that hole for fun. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. You on the road, little dude. That was your dad? What? No. Yeah, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? You're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself. like you did and not be in the light. Have you heard of Sammy Bettino? Most people call him Sonny. No, why? The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad, father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007 and we had to go into hiding, move out west. One day you're living the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. And your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Bettino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of caught the plea, gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. <laughs> Whereas you seem like you don't let nothing slip. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches, daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. She could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two hicks ever talked to is gonna get hit. But what's your name, by the way? Franklin. Franklin what? And I ain't sure I want to answer that. He's gonna want to know who saved my life. Franklin Clint. 
You'll be made right for this. I promise. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Are you crazy? once today already. That's my guy. Thank you again. I won't forget this. Hey, who this? It's Antonia Bettino. 
You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? Oh, shit, how can I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now, there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now, I gotta get off the line. Thank you again.